Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. This week marks the holiest week of the Christian year. We've journeyed through Lent in preparation of the Lord's death and resurrection with prayer, devotional reading, biblical engagement, worship, and confession. With Christians throughout the world, we come together this week to call to mind and to express in word and action the center of the Easter mystery, the Lord's Passover from death to life. Christ entered in triumph into the holy city to complete his work as Messiah. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. We praise and thank you, O God, for the great acts of love by which you have redeemed us through your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. On this day, he entered the holy city of Jerusalem in triumph. He was acclaimed son of David and king of kings by those who scattered their garments and branches of palm in his path. By your blessing, may they be for us signs of victory of your son. May we who carry them in his name ever hail him as our Messiah and follow him in the way that leads to eternal life. Who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from Zechariah. Rejoice greatly, O daughter Zion. Shout aloud, O daughter Jerusalem. Lo, your king comes to you, triumph and victorious. Is he humble and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the fowl of a donkey. He will cut off the chariot from Ephraim and the war horse from Jerusalem. And the battle bow shall be cut off and he shall command peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the Gospel of Mark, the 11th chapter. When they were approaching Jerusalem at Bethage and Bethany near the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples and said to them, go into the village ahead of you, and immediately as you enter it, you will find tied there a coat that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it. And if anyone says to you, why are you doing this? Just say this, the Lord needs it and we'll send it back here immediately. He went away and found a colt tied near a door outside in the street. As they were untying it, some of the bystanders said to them, what are you doing untying the colt? They said to them what Jesus had said and they allowed them to take it. Then they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their cloaks on it and he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road and others spread leafy branches that they had cut into the fields. And then those who went ahead and those who followed were shouting, Hosanna, blessed is he, the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming king of our ancestor, David. Hosanna in the highest. Then he entered Jerusalem and went into the temple. And when he looked around at everything, as it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Our final week of our Lenten worship and spirit, spiritual faith practices brings us the word reflect. This week is full of reflection as we journey from the palms of Palm Sunday to the passion narrative. From Jesus' serving and love, showing love to his disciples in the upper room, to the institution of the Holy Supper, his crucifixion on the cross his death and burial, from celebration to sorrow, it leads us to the joy of Easter. But this week we reflect. We reflect on the words, we reflect on the stories, and we reflect on our own selves and where we find ourselves in the story of Jesus. We reflect upon our faith life and practices. See, living a full life requires change. During this week, we reflect on back on all of the weeks where we learned about fasting and prayer, giving, thanks, and service. We reflect on what we have learned and what we will recommit ourselves to those actions, even after the journey is over. Reflect back on the weeks of Lent how they have shaped your faith and led you to this week, the holiest of weeks that lead us to the cross, to the grave and the glorious resurrection. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Let us pray. 
God of transformation, we were reminded this day that Jesus' ride into Jerusalem was more than a show, more than a simple provocation, more than the beginning of a cute celebration. It was a signal that things are changing, an unmistakably potent message to the powers that be, that the world as we know it is becoming the world as it should be. It was a radical act of defiance directed against those in his day who wielded power through violence, oppression, and tyranny. It is no less radical and no less tame for those who did the same today. This simple ride reminds us and tells the whole world that you're indeed coming to make all things new. You are coming to turn weapons of war into instruments of peace. You are coming to release those who find themselves in all manners of bondage, chains of injustice, chains of addiction, chains of conformity and apathy. You are coming to provide for the poor, for the food for the hungry and shelter for the homeless. You are coming to assure the dignity and equality of all who are marginalized and oppressed. You are coming to end violence and divisions to provide safe communities and opportunities for education. You are coming to offer healing and wholeness comfort, consolation, and hope. You are coming to transform all that we know. You are coming to save us. But like humble Jesus riding into town on a lowly colt, you aren't coming in grandeur. You aren't coming with thunder and lightning. You aren't making an epic entrance. You are coming through the mystery of love incarnate, through the church empowered by your spirit, through lives transformed and inspired, through ordinary people like us. Blessed by the, blessed by you to do extraordinary things. Come, gracious God. Come into a world that longs for change, a world that needs your love, a world full of our own children, a world ripe with hope and potential. Come, Lord Jesus. Blessed are those who come in your name, O God. We have come and we will go. And now we pray. We pray for your coming kingdom emerging all around us using the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now we lay down the palm branches and with them we lay down our belief that there's any other way for you to be God. As the last echo of the final alleluia fades, so does our hope that this journey can end in any other way. The week stretches ahead, glorious and painful. Whether we walk with all faith or none, we look towards the cross, knowing it is both the most human and most divine journeys of all. Travel the road with courage, with love, with an uneasy pace, that this is the gift of faith into the holiest of weeks. Amen. Blessed is the one who comes to us by the way of love poured out with abandon. Blessed is the one who walks towards us by the way of grace that holds us fast. Blessed is the one who calls us to follow in the way of blessing and the path of joy. Blessed are you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.